Miss Kay, now I need you to save me a glass of wine now. You know I'll do <laughs> What y'all gonna do with Miss Kay? <laughs> All right, I appreciate it. You guys have a good day, okay? Thank you. All right. This doctor friend of mine told me that he did an examination on this patient of his. Mm -hmm. He called her back in uh, for consultation. He told her that, he said, you know, your, your EKG, your x-rays, everything is just, at your age, is just perfect. May I ask how old you are? She said, uh, I'm 94. He said, wow, I had no idea that you were that old. Mm -hmm. well, can I ask you a personal question? Uh -huh. She said, sure. He said, at your age, do you still have sex? <laughs> She said, I'm not sure, let me check. So she goes up, she gets up, and she goes to the waiting room door, and she opens the door, and she shouts out at her husband, Hey, Harold, do we still have sex? He said, Mildred, if I told you once, I told you three or four times, we can have blue cross, blue shield. <laughs> now, you know what, Grant, that's a good one right there. That's a real good one. <laughs> hey, I appreciate y'all coming out today. I really do. It means a lot to me. But all serious aside, I wanna I wanna ask y'all a question. I see all y'all married. All y'all married. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Y'all yeah. is it good? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> nothing better. See, I'm I'm not trying to be jealous or nothing, but see, that's where I'm trying to get to. I just need some advice. I'm I'm searching for my queen, and I I'm trying to find her, man. I'm trying to find her. I want I want a ring on my finger too one day. <laughs> yes, sir. So you've been looking for a while, huh? I've been looking for a little while. Well, you're doing the right thing. Because the Bible tells us that he who finds a wife uh -huh. finds a good thing yes, sir. in favor with the Lord. Yes, sir. But I need you to know something though. Uh -huh. Do you know the difference between being complete and being finished? Oh, uh -huh. oh, you gotta help me out, Doc. All right. So if you go looking for a wife uh -huh. and you stumble upon some woman that's not in the will of God for you, you'll be finished. Mm. But if you go looking for a wife that God has for you and God assigns her to your life, you'll be complete. Wow. wow. That's wow. deep, wow. Right? Yeah. So I don't want you I, I don't like want it. you to stumble upon Delilah and be finished. Ooh. Well and be disqualified <laughs> after right. preaching to others. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. But I want you to be whole, I want you to be complete. So Let's pray real quick. Let's do it. Because we want to make sure you find the right one. The right one, not the wrong one. The right, not the wrong one. You'll yes, be finished. Sir. Yes, sir. So, Father, we come right now praying for Bishop. Yes, yes sir. This young man who is searching for his wife, his yes. real. Yeah, Lord. And we pray, Father God, that you would open his eyes and he might not see Delilah. Mm. Yes, sir. Lose his vision. Well. And not be able to finish. Help me. We pray, Father, he find Ruth. Yes, yes sir. That woman who is virtuous. Yes. That woman who has good work ethic. Yes. That woman will hold him down. Help him to know the difference between a woman he wants to take to the altar call. Oh. 
Well, and not one he falls for in a booty call. Well, 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 well. Father, God cover God him in the name me. of Jesus. In give him discernment. Give him wisdom. Yeah. And help this man to do the right thing. Yes. So he can find a ruby and not a false diamond. Ooh. Yes, sir. We believe that you will send him the right one. Go ahead. Go and ahead. I pray his eyes will be open yes. when she walks his way. Yes. In Jesus' name. In we Jesus' pray. name. Amen. 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 Now, 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 wait a minute. Huh? You gonna make me throw the nap. Hey, hey, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> See that? That's how you know you can do some good friends. You just got to throw the napkin at Now, Now, Bishop, don't forget that tonight when you're at the club again. Uh-oh. You know y'all you get in disguise. The club? Oh, yes. They, they told me you were there. No. Oh, oh yeah, sir. It was you. No. Last call for alcohol. You need to go to the altar call, brother. Right. <laughs> you know, social media is a dangerous thing. Ooh. Mm. still single, I ask myself the same thing. I really, really 
I don't know about you, but sometimes in my life, yeah. I have some obstacles to go through. Yeah. Oh my God, sometimes yeah. in my life, life gets hard. Yeah. But I realize when I read the 66 books of the Bible, uh -huh. all of the books uh -huh. help me to let go uh -huh. and to let go. Uh -huh. This would be a good man for Kelly. I gotta figure like how to get him over to the house. Uh -huh. To let go yeah. and to let go. Yeah. Do I got a witness in this house? Yeah. I feel like some deliverance is in this house. I feel like somebody is gonna let go yeah. and let go. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. You got a hand clap of praise this morning, right? Young man, how you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm blessed, man. That's cool. Don't forget to come to my game next week. Next week? Yes, sir. Hey, I sure will. I sure will. And thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. All right. God bless you. God bless you, too. Well, hey, Bishop. <laughs> well, how are you? I'm doing well. My, my God must have sent an angel to help compliment me on today's message. <laughs> I assure you, I am no angel, mm. but I am a visitor. Bless and, you. And um, I'm here visiting some family in town. Mm. But I just wanted to let you know that today when I was in the sermon, right. it just really spoke to me. Bless and you. I just want you to know that I felt like I was the only person in the room. Well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And listen, call me Randolph. <laughs> Okay, Randolph. <laughs> well, hopefully I'll see you while I'm around in town. Well, hopefully so. God bless you. <clears throat> hey, sister, how huh? you doing? How are you? It was God great bless you. God bless great you. Great sermon. Keep praying. Enjoy it. God Enjoy bless it. you. Mm -hmm. How you doing, Pastor Ken? What a pleasure hey, to have you. Hey, Randolph, good to see you. God bless you. Take Just a seat there. What you got on your mind? Well, Pastor Ken, I, I called you. I called you. I know you're a busy man, but I'm going to get straight to it. I am having trouble. I am really, really having some trouble trying to uh, define myself in a way when it comes to, uh, you know, the clergy. I am basically trying to say, Pastor Ken... Man, it's like this title bishop. That's what that's why I tell you all the time when we talk on the phone, Pastor Ken, come on now. Call me Randolph. I do. Just call me Randolph. I do. You know, and it's like the title is so confusing when it comes to a regular life, trying to be a regular man. Yeah. And I I am a man of God. I walk for God. But people, not God, but people hold this title to me. Mm -hmm. And I am just trying to figure out how, how do you, what advice would you give me of how would you walk in this world, you know, just trying to be a regular guy. Did, did you leave this here for me? Where did this banana come from? Oh. I tell you what, you're dealing with some fear, some uncertainty. Yes, sir. And you're afraid that if you 
as a man step on that banana, you're right. going to slip. Right, right. Or if you're a preacher or a bishop, you stand on it, you're going to slip and go down. Yes, sir. There's a guy in the Bible, I was reading this the other day. Uh, his name was Samuel. Mm. Yes, sir. You remember Samuel? <laughs> He was a good man. He was a good man. <laughs> he was a good right. man. <laughs> but he was he was going to have to replace a bad man. Yes, sir. Saul. Mm. Saul had messed up. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And so Saul didn't slip on a banana. He he, he slipped on a whole banana tree. Wow. Wow. Yeah, he did. And so the Lord told, uh, yeah, here it is, mm -hmm. told Samuel to go down there to Jesse's house. Jesse's son was David, right. one of his sons. And there he would find the new king. Mm -hmm. So he went down there. And Jesse parades all these sons in front of Samuel. Mm -hmm. And Samuel says, oh, this has got to be the one. Look at mm -hmm. him. Look, he's tall. He's handsome. He right. looks like Saul. He looks like a king. <laughs> huh? He walks looks like, like a king. He talks like a king. He, he, he talks like a king. This yes, has sir. got to be the one. Uh, right? Come on, Pastor. All right. When they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab right, and thought, right, right. Surely the Lord's anointed stands here before the Lord. Mm, mm, mm. But the Lord said to Samuel, mm -mm. Do not consider his appearance or his height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For I have rejected him. Wow. Wow. The Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Mm. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. At the heart. At the heart. Right here. Yes, sir. That's what the Lord is looking at. Yes, sir. And you've got a great heart. Bless you. Bless and as you. long as people can see that heart, that love of the Lord, that love of people. Yes, sir. That love of making disciples. Yes, sir. That love of witnessing to people and caring for people. Being a friend to people. Yes, sir. That's all you've got to worry about. You can step on a banana tree and you're not going to slip. Watch out, Pastor King. You got it? Watch out, Pastor. Okay. <laughs> all right. Is that it? God bless you, man. Okay. I need I know Kelly said she wouldn't date a pastor, but I hope she gives him a try. Randolph Carpet Cleaning and Repair, how can I help you? Yes, this is Mother Julie. Hey, Mother Julie, how you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Four bedrooms, and my niece is here from out of town. All right. And I need to get them clean. And one of the bedrooms has a bad spot in it, and I want to know if you can get it up. Yes, ma'am. How does high noon today sound? That's not good. Okay. What is a great time for you? Two o'clock. Around two o'clock would be perfect. I don't have any other appointments today, so I'll see you then. Well, I appreciate that. That's my pleasure, Mother. Thank you. All right, I'll see you around that time. Okay. All right now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Okay. Come on, 
Bishop. Let me show you this spot. Yes, ma'am. I want this spot. This is where my niece going to be staying. Yes, ma'am. And I want this spot up out of here. I don't want this in here for her. Okay, okay. I'll definitely so take care of that. She's supposed to be in here to walk, walk through here with me. Yes, ma'am. But she's not here. So we just going to do it ourselves. And can you do anything with that? You know what? Anything for you. Anything for you. You know I love you. I bless you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, Kelly will be here in a minute. Oh, hey. Media, huh? <laughs> hey, what's up? How are you? <laughs> what's up? Mm. That's cute coming from a bishop. Hmm. <laughs> so, you must be the one with the house all hot and steamy inside, huh? Oh, is it that steamy, huh? <laughs> well, you know, I do the best that I can. But, hey, it comes with the job. And like I told you before, my name is not Bishop. You can call me Randolph. Randolph? Yeah. You remember you telling me that. Mm-hmm. Okay, Randolph. And by the way, I never... Got your name at church. That's because I didn't give it to you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get you, I get it. So, you must want me to guess. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Kelly. How you doing, Kelly? It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you also. Yeah. Well, I would love to sit and chat, but actually, I have to run, so I guess I have to catch you again later. You just make sure you get those carpets clean, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm still good. All right, you have a good day. Woo! Ooh-wee! Julie, you got some money, don't you? I don't even know what that is, all right? <laughs> Well, y'all didn't think I was just going to sit around and wait for her to call. <laughs> like the Bible says, faith without works is dead. So I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm looking for a rule and not a false diamond. You know what I mean? Wow. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I ain't mad. <laughs> oh, Lord, that was. Hello? Hello. This is Kelly. How are you? Is this Bishop? It's nobody by that name here. My name is Randolph. Oh, for <laughs> I forgot. It's Randolph. Right. How you doing? Mm -hmm. But I got your note. Oh, oh, you did? And it was charming. Okay. Got me well, I left it there purposely. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
really caught me off guard, but right. I'm definitely interested in getting to. Okay, get okay, that sounds better. good. How how does um how does seven o'clock sound? That's perfect. Okay. Well, I I know this place in town. I mean, amazing. Okay. Well, I'll see you then. You sure will. Seven o'clock. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Randolph and Kelly is amazing. If we have another day tonight like we've had, I can definitely see this being exclusive. Tonight could be the night. Yeah, it's a beautiful night tonight. Yeah, it was a beautiful day, but it's, it's actually kind of cold. Are we trying to put the top down? You cold? Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. I respect I mean, that. I I'm, respect that. I'm sorry. Let you lucky you fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I appreciate it. Just in case. So you are Bishop and you are a beer? 
I mean, I'm, I'm not. Wait, I I've already explained. A bishop is what I am. It's not who I am. No. Are you? Uh, are you no. passing judgment on me? You know what? Wow. No, 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 no. It's so fair. No, what you are you? Take me home. What are you talking about? It's just so. Oh my God. Kelly. Kelly, can we just talk for a second? No. Please. Just forget this night. Take me home. Uh, Kelly. Wow. Wow. Bishop, I thought this one would be different. I mean, if you're going to be a bishop, be a bishop at all times. Do you tell them not to worry and not to cry, but be strong? Do you tell them not to worry and not to cry? Yeah. It's just not right. I mean, for Jesus knows the situation. God, tell me something. How long do I have to keep waiting and waiting? It's the same thing over and over again. Why does this keep happening? When are you going to give me a sign? <laughs> I'm out here, Lord. I'm out here all by myself. It's just you and me out here, Lord. Nobody else. Just, just you and I. And Lord, I came out here by myself purposely. Because Lord, I need to hear a word from you, Lord. I need to hear a word from you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, right now, Lord, I need to hear a word from you. Why? Do I keep getting judged? They, they can't look at me as a regular man. I, I have to be judged by the title, Lord. But Lord, you gave this title to me. What do I do, Lord? I need a word from you. I, I need a word from you right now, Lord. It hurts me. I'm dealing with so much being judged standing in front in your pulpit preaching your gospel to your people and they still judge me lord when am i going to find that love in my life where is she at lord i prayed about it i've held on to the faith lord where is she at but lord hey it's not my will lord let your will be done in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your will be done. But Lord, I need to hear a word from you, Lord. It's hurting me. 
It's hurting me to go through this all by myself. But Lord, I'm trusting in you. And I'm calling on the mighty name of Jesus. It's just me and you, Lord. Your weather, your wind, your waves. I need you, Lord, right now. In the name of Jesus. Talk to me, Lord. Talk to me. Please. Talk to me. Morning, ladies. Good morning. So, I gotta tell you about this date I went on. Oh, <laughs> but <laughs> before we do that, I need to run off this thing. Come yeah. on, I need it too, girl. Red sports car, and okay. I really like him. I really like him, but you know, I always said I would never date a pastor. And after our date, I think I'm stuck on that. He was on time, it was really nice. And when we got to Rizzi's and had some pizza, and but before we could even eat, he ordered beer. I can see my uncle all over again, just doing everything, and I see the same things coming from him. I, I don't want to live through that. So, I'm confused. Are you upset with the bishop or are you upset with your uncle? Uh, both. <laughs> I mean, if he hadn't ordered those beers, this probably would have been great. You know, it would have been great. It would have been perfect. I broke that because I thought I liked him. I thought it really looked like it was something promising and then it wasn't. Well, I don't know. I don't know how to advise you on that, friend. I mean, I, I think you went overboard a little bit. I think you took it a bit far. Really? Yeah, but I understand your confusion at the same time. But that's between you, Randolph, and the Lord. I'm out of that one. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk. We'll um, talk. Because um, I don't think I don't think I'm over that one. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll see where it goes. Well, thanks for coming out with me. Oh, no problem. Go ahead and go now. That's I not what I wanted to hear, it. though. I mean. <laughs> The bishop, are you ready for the bishop? Yeah, bring the bishop in. Okay. Great doctor. There he is. What's Thank going on with you, God. man? How you doing, How man? Good. How are you? Man, it's so good, good to, to see, see you, bishop. You got it. Good, good sir. How you doing, doctor? Brother, brother, how you doing? Good, good, good. Yes, I would have sped up if I knew the bishop, my brother. <laughs> yes, sir. How you doing, man? What brings you in today? You know what? I'm not going to complain, doc, but I, doc, I just came by. I went on a date. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Go so check and see if it's cloudy or clear. We're clear. I had to make sure my wife went out there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, you know what? I, I, I got you. Right. I got you. We, look, we right. might need to take a double look on that one. Right. Listen, Doc. This young lady, just she just got to tripping, man. At towards the end of the date, I ordered two beers, just trying to be a regular man. And man, she she stormed out the restaurant. I think she passed judgment on me. Mm -hmm. My title is the bishop, but I was born Randolph. My mama gave me the name Randolph when I was right. born, not bishop. Right. 
So I just came seeking your guidance and your, your help on just trying to figure out how to separate Bishop from Randolph and Randolph from Bishop. And the issue, Bishop, is most people don't understand our humanity. Right. And so they see the services that we perform. Right. And the ministry that we extend. Yes, sir. But they fail to realize that we are men. Right. Just like they are. And it is incumbent on you to communicate to them that I'm not just Bishop, but I'm also Randolph. That's what I mean, Pastor. We've got to find I mean. somebody who can fall in love with both Randolph and the Bishop. True. If they can't take Randolph, then they don't deserve to be with Bishop. Yes, sir. You have to communicate that it's a package deal. Right. What do you think about that? I always, me, myself, when I met my wife, man, I just stripped down, man, and just said, hey, yeah. what do you see? Yeah. That's all I got to offer. Yeah. What do you see? What did she you, say? She said, all I see is a man. The man. That's all I see is a man. She didn't see the pastor. She didn't see nothing else. Right. All she saw was a man. Right. I said, this is, this is what I'm presenting to you. Is a man, not a pastor, but a man. Right. And I'm not talking about getting naked or nothing, but just expose myself for who I am. For who you are. Yeah. yeah. But you know what, though, Doc? I, I got to admit, that's all we are. When we were born, we are naked people being groomed into our purpose. Mm -hmm. But people cannot see past. Touch your neighbor. Turn to your neighbor. Turn your Bibles to and it's time to take up the collection. Bishop, I'm here for you. Yes, sir. I was a single pastor yeah. at one point. But I think you know now what to look for in a woman. Right. Someone right, yeah. who has the wisdom right. to understand. Yes, sir. Both Randolph yes, sir. and Bishop. And I do understand the difficult tension of navigating who you are as a man and who God has called you to be in his kingdom in terms of vocational service. So what I like to do, if you don't mind, we're all brothers, let's have a word of prayer for you that God will yeah. direct See, you. That's why I came to you. God, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Lord God, I pray that you would touch Randolph. Lord God, I pray that you would make him the man yeah. of God that you've yeah. called him to be. Yeah. Lord God, help those around him yeah. to understand yeah. That he is both human yes. and he's both called. Yes. We thank you and we love you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Jesus 
stoop down. Yeah. Touch somebody and say, Jesus, stoop down. He stooped down. And with his finger, he wrote on the ground. Yeah. He wrote on the ground. Yeah. 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 So when they continued asking him, mm -hmm. he lifted up his head. Yeah. 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 And then he said, He that is among you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. second. I'll be done in a little while. Thank you. I 
there is more to the story, and and I need to tell you my part. So, um, what I wanted to let you know is, I grew up in a household that was it was just sometimes out of control, and it shouldn't have been. My uncle, as you know, was a pastor too. I don't know why she got me sitting here. And he took my aunt Julie through a lot. I mean, he was doing things that pastors shouldn't do. I mean, he was smoking and he was drinking. He was in places pastors don't even go. And he wasn't doing the work of the Lord, I assure you that. He showed he, what? With other women. And he made it so aunt Julie couldn't even go to church anymore. She had to make an excuse. You know, it was hard for her. And it just, I don't want to go through that. I don't want to be that woman. I mean, I don't want to be with somebody that's going to be, I don't want to go through that. And if that's what a first lady has to do, I don't want no parts of it. I just, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I mean, wow. Wow. So that's how you view me? I didn't say that. That's how you view me? I'm sorry. Mother Julie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what your uncle took you through. The struggles of life being a minister, the struggles of life being a pastor, being a part of the clergy, it's hard. It's hard. You don't know what it's like. Ha ha! Stand in the pulpit, preach the word of God. And just all because the man of God wants to live a normal life. Not full of sin, but just normal. But all you saw the other day was Bishop. And you don't understand. That's why I continue to tell you, call me Randolph. But what do you decide to do? You want to keep calling me Bishop. And how dare you sit me down and look me in the face and judge me based on what your uncle did to you. I did not do that. And I don't plan on doing that. But if that's what you want to do to me, judge me, I don't want no parts of it either. Just remember, your sins. Hmm. Mother, God bless you. God bless you, Jesus. But you remember, your sins are no greater than mine. If I didn't judge you, you have no right to judge me. God bless you, Mother. God bless you, Jason. What is wrong with you, Kelly? Yes, the man. Then that's an excuse. Clergymen, women, men, ministers, preachers, they all just talk. And talk is nothing but a fearful way. And we all sin from time to time. We are not perfect. Jesus was the only perfect man that ever walked this earth. God's only begotten soul. And we got to learn to remember that. And he wasn't just, you can't judge the book by the cover because you don't know what's behind that cover. You got to go inside. You didn't even get to know him. You just judge him for what your experience was in your household with your aunt and your uncle. And we can't always do that. That's wrong. We can't do that. And I think that we should not judge anybody because God didn't judge us. We was like little filthy rags down here. And if he hadn't sent his son to the cross, I don't know where we'd be today. But he sent his only begotten son to save us from our sin, our sickness, and all. And I thank God for what he did for us. But just know that we are the flock. Women and men are the flock. And we are not perfect. There was one perfect man, and that was Jesus himself.
Okay, Kelly. Get it together. Come on. It's that bad. I had a chance to think about it last night and I think I need to make it better. I have to realize that he's not the, he's not uncle. And that was something that I was thinking. I just kind of realized that um, he he's just a man. You know? I'm glad you be because we can't base our lives on somebody else's life. Wouldn't be fair. Mm -hmm. To the other person. We just need to do what we need to do and move on. Yeah. Well, um, I feel like um, at this point, I just need to do what's right. Do what's right. And I need to give him a call and, and see if we can start it again. Start again and make up mm -hmm. and treat him nice. Because <laughs> God sends people in your lives. And we gotta know how to act when they come. When God sends somebody, we gotta know how to do it. Okay. And we won't ever get nobody. Right. That's true. Let's cheers to new beginnings. Okay. Hmm. Randolph Carpet Cleaning and Repair, how can I help you? Randolph, this is Kelly. I don't want to do too much or nothing, but I got time, so it's cool. Let me hang a bit, even take a sip. Oh, now I'm buzzing. I'm acting like a child should, craving things that I don't need. How can I succeed when I'm fighting me, playing games on me? This road will get me nowhere and nobody cares. But that's no excuse, it's me that's gotta get me there Time is not on my side I can fight it all I want, but I know I only get one life Oh, time is not on my side to throw a fit I wish that I was rich I do what I want get what I want again I'm going crazy I can't replace me I can't erase me so I gotta deal with me craving things that I don't need how can I succeed when I'm fighting me playing games on me this road will keep me nowhere and nobody cares, but that's no excuse. It's me that's gotta get me there. Time is not on my side. I can fight it all I want, but I know I only get one life. I can fight it all I want, but I know I'll only keep one life.